video, I'm going to show you how to use automation clips and how to create one and basically how to use them and some tricks with them. So this is a beat I, I did for the five minute trap beat ch challenge or, you know, whatever you want to call it. And I took some of the stuff off and I obviously renamed it and everything. So that's why I might look a little different. So you want to create an automation clip. And the th good thing about FL Studio is you can do this with anything in FL. No, what are you waiting for? Do it. Just do it. Yes, you can. Just do it. So all you have to do is right click it. Okay, so we can start off. You just right click the volume, create automation clip. And there you go. You have an automation clip and you can move the volume. So I can show you like right here, you can create cool effects. You can do this with your, with everything pretty much. So if you want to pan it, you can do that. We can do that one. And then we can do a volume for this one. All right, create automation clip, All right? So we're just going to focus on the volume right now. We can mute those just so we can see better. I'm going to pull these down. I'm going to leave this in the middle so you can see. So watch the volume and watch this. And now you see it went up really high above this line. You don't want that. So you reset it, right click copy and it's going to copy to 80 percent and you just paste it and then it'll be at the regular volume throughout the whole beat so that's just something you can do i'm gonna actually fade this out and end we can move this up since we're done with that so now i did the panning for the bells in this and i'm actually go to this part highlight it move this up and I think up is to the left and down is to the right. I'm not sure. So, but we can figure this out. So start up. So if you just want to pan something one way and one the other. So let's get rid of this. I'm gonna go to the atmosphere and then, so yeah, up is to the right. So I'm gonna do one for the atmosphere too. And this is what the atmosphere sounds like. I'm actually take this effect off right now. All right. So have these playing and what you can do, pan it like this, you know, just some tricks. See what this is gonna look like right here. And it should pan, it should pan to the right, this should pan to the left and it should switch. Right, and then I can play the beat in it. It can create a cool effect that no one really has on their beats. If that's something you're interested in doing, I do it sometimes on my beats. You don't see it because I don't really go in depth on my tutorials, but I do do stuff like this. So here you can just see what it sounds like with the beat. that's just in perspective of what it would look like so you can get rid of these hopefully it doesn't say okay so now I'm, i have a gross beat on this in my piano and i don't like the piano one i guess we can still play it so you can either press this up here this right here and this is just turn it on and off right and where did it go it's right here let's bring the piano note piano over so this will just turn it on, it will mute it, and then turn it on. And then you have the, the knob. I like to use the knob because you can cho choose how much of the effect it uses. And you can do this with anything um, that says create an automation clip. So like here, you can't do it there. So with this knob, maybe with this knob, yeah, stereo separation, you just experiment. I can't go over everything because there's so much in FL. 
um yeah even with your equalizer i do this too when i have maybe i'll have like um two instruments that are really low um frequency I have a bass and like strings or something then i'll automate the low spectrum so that it and i can show you here so that it goes down where is it so you can like make it cut out turn it up just so you can hear the difference and then we could do the gross beat i'll show you when it's on and when it's off right then we can do the knob right here right click create automation clip and it'll bring it up here and if you highlight it it'll only go on that part so you can just keep copying it too so that's one thing to keep in mind um you can do it throughout the whole thing but if you just want to put it in parts you have to remember to close this all right if you want to do that remember to close it so we can delete that so i'll play one by itself gross beat here I actually think this is overlapping that out. Okay, all right, I see. All right, so I had this on. So once you create an automation clip, you have to delete it here. You can see I had it on here. So I'll delete this. So keep that in mind. When you have these automation clips, you got to delete them. Even if you delete it here, it's still there. So that's a good learning part. So I'll turn this off so you can just see the changes. And of course. So I would have to delete this completely, but I don't want to do that. But I have to delete this knob part completely if I want it to just turn off and on. But I don't use this anyway. So let me delete the green one here. Delete that. And I'll show you that it, it'll ease into it. And this is why I like the knob because you can really control everything. You can see it kind of slid into it halfway there so yeah you can use that and i'll delete these i don't want them going all over the place did the panning delete the panning i can show you the um Show you this low frequency and hopefully it shows here i'm not sure if it will but let's see and i'll do this with the bass so you, so you can actually hear really what's going on so right here right click create automation clip I just play so I'll turn this down because I think the bass might go way too loud um you can make it go down then make it go up just to see what's happening bring this over put a kick in there clap We can just watch this bass here. So, yeah, that's what you can do with the bass. Right now, I'm really trying to think of anything else that we can use, but I think that's pretty much it, though. Um, that's like a kind of want a beginner to advanced type tutorial because not really too many people think about some of this stuff that you can use they just make the beat they don't really try to you know 
too extra with it but yeah that is something you can do you can mix them together so i can have a gross beat two gross beat on here and i can pull them out you know and pull this down so you can see what i'm talking about say i have one gross beat on here you know you can um switch them like this you know just to make it a beat different right and then um one other thing you can do with this that i'll show right here delete these and this one is the, the key to this because it can get really annoying if you don't know how to do this so usually when you click this it'll go slide right so say you have points so you have points right here and then you want one right here before the drop if you have this on right here the slide and you make something it'll slide every other point and i'm guessing you don't want that unless you just want to move everything so what you can do is let's see you can turn this off let's delete that turn this off and it'll just go in place like that and you can just put stuff where you want a little bit more work like with the dots but it's just something you can do so yeah that's going to conclude this tutorial um hopefully you learned a lot about um automation clips and hopefully it opens your mind to a whole bunch of possibilities that you can do with this beat um or your beats um so um leave a like or comment definitely subscribe if you're new and um let me know if this helped you out and i'll see you guys in the next video peace